Welcome to this edition of Pattern Spotlight. Today we will be reviewing Simplicity's S9555 View C and D, which are the skirts. And be sure to stick around throughout the video because I will be showcasing images of what the suggested fabrics could possibly look like for this particular garment. And you don't want to miss that. It will help you tremendously with choosing your fabric for this project, which tends to make or break your sewing project. If you already know how to do my sew alongs in videos, and if you'll be kind enough to watch at least one ad, should it appear, which enables me to keep bringing you free content, feel free to skip ahead to go straight to the pattern spotlight. Skip ahead to the three minute, 45 second mark. Here's a little bit about how I do my sew with me sew alongs. For techniques, I'm gonna put it on the website and I will reference it in the sew along itself. So for example, we just did, we're working on a pair of pants that has a fly front. So when we get to that portion in the sew along, I'll do a little bit of it, you know, and instructions in the sew along itself, but then I'm going to refer you over to the website to go ahead and look at that video, that particular video, look it over, you know, um, study it, do your own sample if you want, because you know I'm big on that technique binder. So go ahead and, you know, and do that. And then once you get a good hang of um, what that technique is, then come back onto the, the sew along itself and do that particular technique with the sew along. So that way, we both kind of benefit. Um, you still get the instruction of the actual sew along, step by step of how to do a particular thing. Um, but I, it's less editing on my part because uh, like I said, I'll mention it in the sew along itself, but then I'll refer you over to the website to actually find that particular technique um, and go ahead, review it, look at it. Um, and then once you master it or enough to where even so long, you know, at the same time and, and install it in that particular so long that you're that you're doing at that time. Um, so hopefully that will be OK for for you, because I think it's a I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone for watching my videos. Um, I love to upload the videos. I love to share my knowledge. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you guys love to get free content. So in order for me to keep uploading uh, free content, I just need you to do some simple things for me, some very simple things. The first thing is just to hit the subscribe button. So just make sure that you hit that um, so you're subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell so when I upload a new video, you don't miss out and you get to see it. And then also if, if there's an ad um, on my videos, they're typically anywhere from 10 seconds to maybe up to two minutes. Um, just go ahead and either watch it or do something else you want to do in those uh, in those um, in that particular time that that ad is running. So use the restroom, go get something to drink or something like that, because that way, if you let that ad run, um, I benefit from YouTube and that way I can still keep creating content and uploading it for free. Okay, 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 okay. Enough of that boring stuff. Back to the sew along. Please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Thanks again and keep on watching. Okay, we'll be covering Simplicity's S9555 views C and D, which are the skirts. The garment type is skirts, and we're going to only be doing that one. The sewing level is listed as average, but I want to say that's for the jacket. The skirt should be pretty easy. Um, the description is a full skirt with front pleats, has high, low hem, and back zipper. Uh, straight skirt has back vent and zipper. So the size range and body measurement ranges are, the sizes are 6 to 14. Um, that one is bust is 30 and a half to 36 inches, waist is 23 to 28 inches, and hips is 32 and a half to 38 inches. Moving on to sizes 16 to 24, the bust measurements, body measurements are 38 to 46 inches, waist is 30 to 39 inches, and hips are 40 to 48 inches. Okay, so taking a look at the line drawings, for the garment elements for view C, 
are front pleats, waistline facing, uh, invisible zipper in the back, and hemming. For view D, the garment elements are straight tapered darts, the front and the back, um, back vent, and invisible zipper. Okay, so moving on to the suggested fabrics. We have linen, poplin, crepe, cotton blends, silk, and brocade. Um, just so you know, uh, links to the inspiration picks can be found in the description box. Okay, so let's talk about each one of these more in detail, starting with linen. Linen is a woven fabric. It is a natural um, fiber and it's also a fabric. It's great summer fabric. It's cool, breathable, and moisture resistant. It can be crisp, um, but if it's mixed with a softer fiber, it can take on that appearance as well. It becomes softer the more you wash and care for it. <clears throat> Moving on to poplin. It's a woven fabric. It has the appearance of a men's dress shirt, but not as crisp, but rather softer and of a lighter weight. It's very durable. It has a smooth appearance. It's opaque, which means you cannot see through it. And it's typically made from cotton, which is a natural fiber. Moving on to crepe. That is a woven fabric. It's lightweight, soft, and breathable. It's moisture wicking, fluid drape, but it's also flammable. The surface feels puckered, bubbly, crinkly, peppily, um, like a birthday streamers, if you can imagine that. And the texture can range from smooth and fine to rough and rugged. Fibers can include, but not exclusive, can include rayon, cotton, and wool. And the fabric would take on those fiber characteristics as well. Moving on to cotton blends, and it includes woven blends. So it has to be all woven, but just a blend. So for instance, cotton poly, cotton rayon things like that just no spandex so it's woven blends so it depends on what fiber is matched with cotton um, the feel may either be on the crisper stiffer side or it can be softer so for example if cotton is matched with poly which is a man-made fiber the garment can be on the stiffer side whereas if cotton is matched with rayon which is also a man-made fiber the garment can be on the softer side with a drapier appearance. So some common uh, cotton fabrics names are poplin, shirtin, twill, gauze, ball, and so on. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of them. So if you see any of those names mentioned, um, that is you can substitute that if you just see cotton in the description you can su substitute some of the things that i just mentioned in those place in in that place next we have silk it's a woven fabric okay silk is a natural fiber it is lightweight smooth soft and breathable it has a shimmery and slippery surface which may make it hard to sew. It's moisture wicking and does not retain heat. It's durable and does not easily tear or get damaged. And lastly, we have brocade, which is a woven fabric. Um, it is a fabric that has a raised design woven into it. The designs are usually made with different colors and tend to have metallic threads, either of silver or gold. It is somewhat moisture wicking. It tends, tends to have no stress, stretch unless spandex or like is added. Fibers may include silk, cotton, wool, and synthetic fibers. 
Okay, so let's take a look at how the pattern makers intended this garment to fit its silhouette using a size 14, which is the mid-size of the ranges, okay? So the body measurements for the waist, because we're only doing the, the skirt portion. So for the waist at size 14 body measurement, it's 28 inches. The finished measurement for the waist is 30 inches. The difference is two inches. And I'll pop up the ease chart. And you'll see the intended silhouette is semi-fitted. Okay. Oh, sorry. This one doesn't have the ease chart. <laughs> um, but typically two inches is semi-fitted for the waist. Okay. Um, moving on to hips. So hips body measurement is 32. And I'm sorry. Size 14 is 38 inches. Okay. Your finished measurement for hips is 41 inches. That gives you a difference of three inches. And I'll pop up that chart. <clears throat> and you see that the silhouette, intended silhouette is fitted. Okay. Uh, the silhouette range is two to three inches. So the difference of three inches is on the high end of the silhouette range. Me personally, even though it is... Um, you know, view D, I want to say is the uh, pencil skirt. And this measurement is for view D. Okay, for the pencil skirt uh, version. I tend to like just the semi fitted. So I will be moving up to the semi fitted silhouette um, range, which is three and one eighths to four inches. And I will probably do four inches for me, which is obviously on the high end. So as usual, what I tell you to do is take your tape measure and put it around those measuring points. So your waist and your hips, and I'll just use your hips for instance here. So put it at whatever your actual body measurement is. And then you're going to move the tape measurement out by three inches and see if that is a fit uh, that you want. Uh, keep it in mind the way the picture looks. Um, if you made any adjustments, either up or down, make note of that because that becomes your personal ease measurement for that particular garment type and that particular silhouette. And then just repeat the uh, process for the waist. All right, so let's go over the sewing techniques you'll need to complete this pattern. You'll need the basics, which is your straight stitch, basting stitch, reverse stitch, sewing corners and curves, including notching and clipping, stay, st stay stitching, under stitching, edge stitching, top stitching, and hemming. You also need to know how to do pleats, an invisible zipper, waistline facing, straight tapered darts, and a back bent. Okay, so this concludes the pattern spotlight on Simplicity's S9555 for views C and D. If you made this pattern or intend to, or, or if you're gonna follow along with me, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more of this kind of content. Thanks again for watching and happy sewing.